no, no, no. Any birth is an anxious time, and right now we know that Storm can't deliver her babies naturally. Oh, that's a lot of puppies. We're against the clock. One of Storm's puppies' heart rate is dangerously low. We need to get her puppies out now. I'm a bit concerned about what is going on here. On the Gold Coast, Gerardo is dealing with a major emergency. We'll help you out. Heavily pregnant Storm is in labour with a huge litter of puppies. You're a sweet son. We'll take care of you today, hey? Owner Jessica rushed Storm to emergency when she noticed her beloved dog's labour was not going smoothly. This morning, I could see that Storm was in labour with her puppies and I could see contractions in her belly, which was very exciting. But after a little while, they stopped and it didn't look like things were going very well. So I thought I'd bring her down just to be checked out. And I'm very glad I did. But today, she started passing green discharge and having contractions. If she has green discharge, that means there's a separation of the placenta from the uterus wall and that puppy is at risk of passing away because blood supply nutrients will start to become compromised. I'm just going to check and see if she's got some milk coming down. If she's got some milk coming down, it helps us know that she's ready. We've got some milk coming down. That's always a good sign, meaning that she's getting ready to give birth. Good girl. Good girl, Storm. Here we go. Gerardo needs to quickly decide whether to try encouraging Storm to give birth naturally or go straight to an emergency caesarean. Stay still, stay sit still. Sit your butt. Sit your butt. Come here. Oh, you have a little one around. Storm needs an immediate ultrasound so Gerardo can get a better idea of just how many puppies she needs to deliver. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, so, slow down. But an already nervous Storm is becoming increasingly agitated. You got her? Oh, 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 Storm clearly prefers to be on the floor. Now that she has calmed down, we can take her through to x-ray and have a look and see what's going on in the inside. Legs to us, one, two, three. Oh, so still, still. oh there we go, oh, there we go. What the x-rays are going to show us is the number of puppies that are in there. Oh, it's a lot of puppies in there. You're a clever girl, Storm. Yeah, it's just a eight beautiful babies, eh? Hey? It's a lot of puppies. Storm won't be able to deliver naturally if any of the puppies are too big for her birth canal. Now we're going to look at the, the pelvic canal. So the pelvic canal is three and a half centimetres. Let's have a look at some of these noggins. Five centimetres. Four and a half centimetres. Oof, it'd be tight. It'd be tight. That may not fit. Here we go. Stomach, 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 stomach. It will be a tight squeeze for the puppies to come out, but Gerardo is still hoping Storm can deliver naturally. Let's just make sure. Next, Gerardo needs to check the puppies' heart rates. If the puppy heart rates are above 180 beats per minute, then we're pretty happy. If it's under 150, that means that those puppies are in trouble. Okay, let's just get a heart rate on this little fella. Wow. Boom, 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 Pause. Heart rate is looking at 153. Okay, that's not so great. Let's try and find another one. And that 150 is a bit concerning. Okay, we have another one here. Heart rate. This is not as good as I hoped. This one is looking very slow. Let's measure it. Thank you. Come on, come on, come on. That's not good. That's what, 147. Storm and her puppies are in trouble, and Gerardo needs to take her straight through for an emergency caesarean. Uh, we may not have an option to try medical management, hey? 
worry, darling. Yeah. You're all right. Good girl. Gerardo and his team are prepping Border Collie Storm for an emergency caesarean. We're against the clock. One of Storm's puppies' heart rate is dangerously low. If we don't go to surgery, that puppy may die. Okay, here we go. Okay, Storm. You've got the best team here. Okay, yeah, okay, I'm on my way. Gerardo needs all hands on deck. Time to rally the troops. So Alex will be in charge of the resuscitation team to help any puppies in distress. Do you know where the, you know, the resuscitator for the puppies is? Any birth is an anxious time, and right now we know that Storm can't deliver her babies naturally. This is where we all step in and hope there's a good outcome. I'm gonna do a test cut, you ready? Storm's uterus is really big because of those eight puppies. We need to get her puppies out now. So one pup here, we've got the head now. See the head? We're gonna gently pull on the head and I'm gonna gently pull. What we're gonna do is gently hold on and see the placenta here. This is where the adrenaline really kicks in. Gerardo has just delivered the first puppy and fingers crossed it's alive. Got it? Go. Alex and her team are now ready to swing into action. Oh, he's a pretty colour. I know it is. It might look a bit rough, but this is how we resuscitate puppies. By rubbing them with a warm towel, it helps them to start breathing and clears the fluid from their lungs. Hey, little guy, you're so pretty. Three more puppies have now been delivered, and Alex and her team are desperately trying to keep them alive. Any of them squeaked yet? No. <laughs> no. Silence is not what we want right now. We're all on edge until we hear even the faintest squeak from these puppies. It means they're alive and breathing and going to be okay. Come on, everyone. Come on. I'm waiting for those little Good lad. Come on, everyone. Come on. How are you guys doing? Come on, little guy. Yeah, this one I'm pretty worried about. It's just, it's just no, no response at all. Our hearts are in our mouths. Any second now, we're desperate to hear the telltale squeaks that tell us that these puppies are alive. I think it was a good move to get in there and get them out right. Okay. This is his last one. This girl's pretty Yeah, we're good. We're just going and coming and going and coming. Yay! Yay! I love that sound. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? All right, you can go meet your siblings, hey? Oh, that sound is so incredible. A newborn puppy's cry is so precious. We never get tired of it, and importantly, it tells us these puppies are going to be okay, and that's a huge relief. Last one coming through. Oh. We'll catch. The lively puppies are going straight into an incubator to help keep their tiny bodies warm and provide them with extra oxygen. It will be a while before Storm can meet her two girls and six boys. Um, the safest thing for her now is to get out of surgery quick. She's fine, she's recovering from anaesthetic. And you have eight beautiful little puppies. New mum Storm has fully recovered from her emergency caesarean and has finally been united with her eight precious babies. The two girls and six boys are making the most of a very sleepy Storm, enjoying their first big drink of mother's milk. Proud owner Jessica is beside herself with emotion. That's amazing. I honestly could not be happier with the outcome. I am so, so thankful. We didn't lose one puppy and Storm is doing well. I just couldn't hope for a better outcome. I'm so happy. Oh, there we go. <laughs> She's like, oh my God. We can actually bring this backwards. Hi, okay. Yeah. Hi. Hi. 
today is actually Storm's birthday. She's two today, and so now she gets to share her birthday with her eight beautiful little babies. Oh, how can you not be happy when you're holding a puppy? I know. Some of them have homes. Uh, I know my sister is pretty keen for one, and I've had a few other people who are interested. Hi. Hey. She did a very good job. On the Gold Coast, a month after her dramatic caesarean birth, Border Collie Storm and her owner Jess are finding life very busy with eight lively puppies to look after. After the surgery, Storm, she didn't want anything to do with the puppies at first. I very quickly learned how to make puppy formula and feed them with a bottle and that was every two hours around the clock and it would take me about 10 minutes per puppy and when there's eight puppies that doesn't leave much time for a nap before the whole thing starts again. Hi, I'm Dr Kate and if you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen for more great content. And for free, exclusive, never seen before Bondi Vet stories, you can sign up to bondipet.com and you can do so via the link in the description.